So once you're at spark.adobe.com and you've signed in with your Google account, over here on the left is the plus sign and you can make a video. So we're gonna make a video today. So just a reminder, Adobe thinks it's smart by giving those little hints and tips. So we're gonna call this my first video. And I'm gonna click next. And it does give you some templates that so we're just gonna start from scratch because it's the best way to learn is to start from scratch without having to try to make your stuff match the template that they give you. So again, read, feel free to read the stuff that Adobe puts on the screen. They think they're being smart and cute and funny. If you wanna watch the tutorial on how to get started, that's fine, but for now, I'm just gonna close it. So here is the Adobe Spark video editor. There's not a lot here. We can preview, we can share, we can download. We have the layouts right now, so we have full screen, split screen, captions, title, and text. Let's go with title and text for right now. So the title is going to be my first video. And then I would like your name here. So actually put your name, not the word your name. So theme, let's go look at the theme. So there's not a lot to do here with the theme. Um, we can do the elevate one, and again, it gives us some color choices. Not tons here, just a few things. And I personally like the flare one myself because it's pink and it's got some color choices, but that's just me. I'm going to go change it to purple. We could resize, but because we're all mostly on Chromebooks, we're going to leave it set to widescreen and we'll deal with the music later. So let's go back to layout. <laughs> and I just realized I misspelled video. Oh no, I didn't. It just cut it off for some reason. So I'm going to make my title a little smaller so you don't cut off the text. All right, so I'm going to add another slide. All right, and on this slide, I think I'm gonna go with the split screen. So I can add a video, I can add text, I can have a photo or an icon. Let's go with a photo. And we're gonna go over here to the right and we're gonna find free photos. And I'm just gonna look for a mountain. And there's a pretty mountain range. And I'm going to be real creative here, and I'm going to click over here on the right side of the screen and add text and call it mountain range because I don't want to think too long. Great. Let's add another slide. And again, I like the split screen because it gives us a nice picture and a good place to add text. So I'm going to do a split screen on this one as well. And again, it doesn't matter which side of the screen I put my picture. So I'm going to click over here. I'm going to add another photo. It's already set to mountain range. So let's go with this one. And I'm going to click on the left hand side, add some text and call it another mountain range. And again, I can add another slide. And this time I'm gonna go with this type here, it's called a caption. I'm gonna add a photo. And let's go with another mountain range. And I can hit the plus sign and add some text and I can say snow-capped mountains. Great. So here's the nice part. Every time I added a picture, look what Adobe Spark did. It automatically gave the credits for me. So I don't have to worry about adding the credits. I just need to say credits. Okay, so let's go look at some music. Mm, let's go old country accordion. And let's see what that sounds like. So I can hit this play button. It's the preview button. I'm not sure why it's cutting out some of my words. It's like all the O's are missing. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So let's go back here. So one other thing I didn't show you, this is adding narration. So by default, this picture is gonna be on the slide screen for four seconds, but I can hold down this microphone and talk. I found this picture of a mountain range. I thought it was really pretty. So now it's only gonna stay on the screen for three seconds because that's how long I talked. So again, one more time, I'm gonna to go to the next slide. I still don't know why the O's aren't typing, but that's okay. So again, I hold down 
the microphone and I talk. And as long as I'm talking, it's going to record what I'm saying, and it's going to tell me how long it's going to last on the screen. So now it's up to six seconds. If I don't like it, I can go back and re-record right over it. This is another mountain range. And it erased what I originally had said. I think snow-capped mountains are the prettiest. And let's go to credits. Thank you for watching my video. All right. So again, I can hit this preview button and watch the whole thing, or I can just hit this button. It'll just tell me and replay what I said for that specific slide only. Now, the sound is too loud. The background music is way too loud. It's much more loud than my talking, so I'm going to pull it down a little bit. I'm going to go listen to it over here. I think I'm going to re-record that one. <laughs> I found this picture of a mountain range. I thought it was very pretty. All right, so I can go back and watch the listen to the whole thing again, and I get the preview button. And I'm having obviously some technical issues, so I'm going to close that, and I'm just going to hit the share button, publish. My first video, you know, I'll call it mountains. And then what I want down here for your name, I want the class period in front of your name. And I'm going to create the link. Depending on how long your video is, this may take a few minutes. So when you're done recording, you'll get this button. You can copy it. And you're going to go back to Google Classroom. Click on Classwork. Click on the Assignments. View the assignment. And paste it in Class Comments. So Control V as in Victor, paste it in Class Comments. And post it. And you're done.